Alrighty, I'm gonna talk about all of the manicures that I wore during the fall season. <laughs> I seem to get very behind on my monthly manis. But before I start talking about winter polishes, I wanted to close that out because I did do a fall seasonal rack. So I wanted to show you guys what all of those polishes look like on the nails. I'm gonna start off with um, this one, which is the first manicure for the fall that I actually that I wore. Uh, this one is from C and D and it's called Nordic Lights. Nordic Lights has a plum jelly base and then it has varying size silver metallic glitters. So you get some that are a little bit smaller and some that are a little bit larger. What I find to be super unique about this one is that it also has metallic shards that are color shifting. So they shift a little bit depending on how the light is hitting it. The only thing about the, the shards is that um, I don't get as many on the nails as I see in the bottle, but I think this is really pretty. I like the concept of this, especially from a salon, a salon brand. I think that's, that's pretty cool. And I thought it was really good. I think this one took about three coats for full opacity. The next three are from Colores de Carol. These are part of the Halloween collection. I did mention these in a Paint Your Nails With Me video, which I'll link up in the cards. I mentioned them alongside some of the fall polishes that I bought from her collection as well. So let me start off with Amityville, which is the white Crelly. This one has varying size matte black glitters and then it also has some larger matte black shards of glitter <laughs> trying to say all of that um okay and then it also has color shifting flakies that reflect a little purple a little blue a little pink um and this light let's see it even looks a little bit green and then it also has matte purple large square glitters in here and although i think this is really pretty and i like i really enjoy white crellies this is not my favorite white crelly with crellies usually it takes me about three coats um to reach full opacity which is not an issue for me i i'm okay with that and i understand that that's because of the crelly formulation of this right but by the time i'm done applying the third coat i feel like a lot of the glitters from previous layers they kind of get buried and lost within the polish so i don't see as many although i do see them vaguely I don't see as many of them on the nails as I would like. So it's pretty and I'm always going to like a white crowley because I love white nails. But um, I just wish I could see a lot of more of the glitters on the nails as like I see in the bottle basically. The next one is Camp Crystal Lake. And this one I purchased specifically, specifically for the name of it. When I saw it online, it didn't wow me. I, I didn't feel like... It was something that I was going to adore. But pictures do no justice. Z zero. Zero justice for this polish because it is gorgeous. So let me look up the description because this one's a little complicated. Okay. Colores de Carol Camp Crystal Lake. No. Colores de Carol Camp Crystal Lake. Let's look this up. Okay. Camp Crystal Lake is a thermal multi-chrome. From a multi-chrome base, okay, first off, I didn't experience any thermal. Um, I do plan on wearing this during the fall and see if, I don't know, if something changes. I'm not really sure. I, it could be because my nails were very, very short, so there was no edge. And sometimes I feel like with thermals, you almost need that little length in order for it to show some kind of thermal, I'm thinking. Um, just because the nail bed that's attached to your actual finger, um, it just receives a little bit more warmth. Maybe that could be the reason. I'm not really sure, but I didn't really experience it. So then it says from a multi-chrome base, warm in parentheses, with blue, orange, green shift to a black, cold in parentheses. I experienced more, okay, I see more green to purple i didn't ever experience any orange and even when i hold the bottle up like this i see a little bit of orange here at the bottom of the bottle but it's not something that i ever experienced i experienced more like the green and the purple and if anything it looked a little teal i freaking love it the the shifting is very noticeable and it's so beautiful i i loved it so much and then it also has ucc flakes that are blue purple and green beautiful and it says here that the thermal effect is very subtle so maybe that's why i didn't experience it i'm not really sure point is is that this is gorgeous a couple of coats for full opacity out of 
the three that I bought for the Halloween collection, this one is the one that had the best formulation. Two coats to get opaque. I thought it was gonna take three. It didn't. Just two easy coats. This is so gorgeous. Highly recommended. If you guys um, purchased it during the, for the fall from her fall collection and have not had a chance to wear it, pull it out. I think this is great for the winter also. It's actually gonna be one of my winter picks, funny enough. And then the last one from Colora de Carol that I purchased is uh, called Elm Street. So this one, let's see, Colore, oops, Colores de Carol and Elm Street. This one is also really gorgeous. I wore this on Halloween and it's so beautiful. So Elm Street on her website is described as an intense burnt orange jelly with iridescent chameleon flakes. And when I open this, I see the burnt orange on the neck of the bottle. It looks like a burnt orange. But once you layer this on the nails, because this is a true, this has a true jelly base, it requires about three coats for full opacity. And you almost have to be just a little bit careful because I find out with true jellies, sometimes the nails in certain areas, it looks a little bit more, more sheer. Like I think it was my pinky that looked a little bit lighter than, not sheer, but lighter than the other ones. Like it's almost like I didn't apply it equal amount of product on all of my nails, basically. Anyways, it took about three coats to get opaque. And by, by the time you have the three coats on, to me it doesn't look like a burnt orange. It looks like a red with chameleon flakies. Regardless though, this was amazing. Uh, quickly become one of my favorite red polishes. And I think it's really, really beautiful and it's worth every single layer. And the flakes are not super tiny either. They're pretty large. There's there's varying sizes, but there's really large chunks in here. Like not chunks, but um, pieces in here that are very visible on the nails. I took some pictures in low light also to capture the flakes so you guys can see them because I feel like with direct lighting, it just doesn't do any justice. So I took some pictures um, right right under like in the deck area of our home and you can see the little the little glowing effect coming off of the nails and i thought this was gorgeous i need to speed this up i'm taking very very long and talking about polishes from orally and this is from the fall collection i think it's from the fall collection roam with me which is kind of their pinky nude polish a couple of coats for this one for full opacity uh pretty easy formula not difficult i don't remember it being difficult i wore this one during a time when my nails were very very short and so i didn't want anything too noticeable on my nails because i literally had to cut them to nubs and so i wanted something that just was very subtle and almost kind of blended into the rest of my skin not that this does because it's kind of a blushy pink right but it's a very subtle color and i really enjoyed it while i wore it i think i wore this one a couple of times i think i wore it as a pedicure as well this one is so beautiful it is from emily damali this was a gift from v actually and this other one was a gift from my friend joy the c and d one joy sent this one to me so edge of your c it kind of shifts from okay it's a like a it's a blurple this is the one that i did the paint your nails with me video oh shit okay let's put that back on and pretend that didn't happen it has a blurple jelly base and then it has holographic flakies micro flakies and then it has a red shimmer that is slightly visible on the nails and then i see a little green shift which I don't really capture that on the nails, I don't think. And I do capture the little red shimmer slightly on the nails, but it's not very strong. I feel like a lot of the shifting that's going on in this bottle is not as noticeable, it's not as strong on the nails as it looks in the bottle, but it's so beautiful. It's still so beautiful. This is a beautiful, beautiful polish. I think I took a couple coats for full opacity for this one and I really loved it. And then I have 90 Lacquers Decay. I bought this one last year and finally got it on my nails this year. I had been saving it to wear during um, the fall season and it's so ugly, <laughs> but so beautiful. I love this one. So this one has more of a pukey kind of green, uh, kind of murky also green um, base. And then it has a strong, uh, I don't know if it's a gold shimmer, but it looks a little bit golden in the bottle. 
and it's so gorgeous. I love this one. Great formula for this one also. A couple of coats for full opacity. And this one along with Singer Auto from Nine Zero Locker is gonna become a staple for the fall season because it's, it's just gorgeous. I did a little, is it leopard or cheetah? I can't remember. Is it a cheetah print? <laughs> I don't remember. I don't know. A leopard mani that I did using these three polishes that came out in the winter winter collection from Orly. I used this one, which is one of my favorites. Oh my God, it's my one of my favorites from that collection. I really enjoyed that collection more than I expected to enjoy it actually. So this one is called Infinite Allure. I, I love this one. Um, another one that's gonna be mentioned in my winter picks actually because I think it's so beautiful. This is kind of like a pewter color and it's very reminiscent to me to Oh my God, how can I forget the name of that one? I'm gonna put it up on the screen because I love that polish. Very reminiscent to that polish from Orly. If you missed out on that one, this is a good substitute for it. I think it's gorgeous. So this one, um, which is Infinite Allure, is a shimmer polish. And like I said, it looks a little, it's like a little pewter, right? But it also has almost a little bronziness going on in it that warms it up a little bit. I love this one. So I alternated nails with this one and then did Untouchable Decadence, which is the gold metallic glitter. So it has varying sizes of gold metallic glitters in here. This is a glitter polish, but it does get opaque. I think I did a couple coats of this one as a base, and then I spot it on with this one, which is Opulent Obsession. I can see, um, oh, and then I did the, the little black outline, right, for the little leopard print. This one, the pattern, I can see it outdoors, but when I'm indoors, it's kind of hard to tell the difference between this color and the black outline. Um, you can see it, but it's just not as noticeable, so I wouldn't do that particular, this particular color again, and I'll share with you guys another manicure that I did with a much lighter center of the leopard print. And then um, let's talk about the one that I did after that one, which was also using Unt Untouchable Decadence as a base. And then for the center of the leopard print, I did alternating nails of these two, just because I wanted to try two different ones, kind of the similar similar color. So I put as the center black cherry, also from Orly, and then I did this one, which is a holographic, which is misconduct. Um, so these two as the center, and then I did the little outline with just black acrylic paint is what I did for those. Complimentary wine from OPI. This one, I think, took about three coats for full opacity which kind of surprised me, considering the color's a little bit on the darker side. So, still a pretty good formula. It wasn't difficult by any means, didn't take a long time to dry. I really enjoy colors like these. It's kind of a basic color, really. Um, just your basic vampy color for the fall and winter season. I really enjoy these guys as manicures, and, but especially for the toes. And then one that I have I have not worn in years, I mean years, 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 many, many years. This is a blazing from Sally Hansen. I forgot how pretty this was. This is a burnt orange, um, and then I wore another orange, uh, which I'll mention right now, actually, just to compare compare them both. These are the two oranges that I wore. So ha Sally Hansen, um, a blazing is more of a burnt orange, and it has gold shimmer running through it and it is so beautiful. In the past, I have always worn this with a glossy top coat. This time around, I did wear it with a glossy top coat, I think for about a day or so, and then the following days, I ended up um, putting on a matte top coat. I think it was the one from Essie, the Mad About You top coat, and I loved it. It looked so beautiful, um, and there's something about putting on the matte top coat that brought out the intensity of the orange, and I really enjoyed it. So, love this guy. I wanna say a couple coats is what it took for this one. But then the other orange that I wore is, my Italian is a little rusty from OPI. So good, another one, I did I wear this matte also? I think that I did. I gotta, I gotta check. A couple of coats for full opacity for this one. It is such a unique orange. I did, I think I mentioned it in a video. I'll link it up in the cards. I think it was a little, a Vlogmas video, um, like with the, um, that I shared, my living room or something like that but i also did a comparison of the three orange like pumpkin oranges oh my god okay pumpkin oranges that i have 
and this definitely looks very different from plain koi to me it looks different from to it's a piazza cake because it has a little bit a little bit more brown in it which i feel makes this polish very unique um and then so you can see the two the a blazing just looks a lot brighter compared to my italian is, is a little rusty and it's basically as the name suggests, it's more of a rusty kind of orange. The manicure I wore on um, on Thanksgiving is a combination of these two flaky toppers. So I have Essie's Shine of the Times, which I put on as a base, but kept a lot of the flakies away from the cuticle area. I kind of wanted a little gradient from the tip of the nail gradienting up, right? So I did this one as a base because it's a little bit more transparent. And then I added a little bit more saturation of this one, which is Take It or Leave It, which is a flaky topper from KB Shimmer. But the flaky toppers of this one is not as transparent. They're a little bit more foily to where a Shine of the Times, the flakies are a little bit more transparent. So I put this guy closer to the tip of the nails and loaded up a little bit more and kind of did a little gradient between the two. I thought that was a very simple manicure. I wanted something simple. Um, that didn't take a very long time, but also that didn't take a very long time to dry. And I ended up sponging both of these, so they took no time at all to dry. These two Crellies I'm going to talk about are both from KB Shimmer, right? Yep, KB Shimmer. KB Shimmer. I'll start off with this one, which is called Hide and Eek. And Hide and Eek is a white Crelly. So it has some orange, neon yellow, it seems to have black, and I don't know if I see any other kind. I want to say that it has purple in here as well. Three coats for this one for full opacity, um, and I put it on and I thought it looked really adorable. And I think that as the day went on, my manicure just turned yellow. I didn't even have a chance to take a picture of this while it still looked white. So the picture that you guys are gonna see is with this manicure as it turned yellow, which I don't know why this happened. I have another um, Crowley from them, which is Prince Charming. It's the one with the blue and the purple metallic glitters. And that one has never turned yellow on me. So I'm not really sure, but I don't have too much experience with white Crowleys. The one from um, Colores de Carol didn't turn um, yellow on me either but this one did so I want to try it again just because I think it's really pretty I like the little the little glitters that it has they're a little bit smaller which is something that I do like and I want to try it again because I just thought that was really interesting I don't know if it was a top coat that I used which I can't remember what top coat it was but that was not so fun and the other polish that I have here is you autumn no which is another one uh, another white curly from KB shimmer I didn't end up wearing this one, my sister did, but I wanted to mention it because she's never experienced staining on her nails because she doesn't, first of all, she doesn't switch her manicures very often, she doesn't paint her nails as often, right? She rocks her natural nails um, quite a bit, but she put this one on, she wanted to try it out, put it on, and this stained her nails very, very yellow. She's just never had that issue, so she mentioned it to me and I just thought I would mention it to you guys if in case you guys have never tried these two specifically never a dullest moment from opi is a yellow that i have not pulled out in a really long time this was like my it's not a mustard yellow but it was my mustard yellow before china glaze came out with mustard the courage because there's just a tiny bit of mustard in this one so three coats for this yellow and it does have a cream formula but a really good formula for a yellow and then i did pair it up with dreams on a silver platter also from opi which is a glitter mix. So you get a white matte white glitters and then you get um, silver metallic glitters and micro gold metallic glitters as well, which I find to be a very unique glitter mix going on in this. I did mention this in one of my Vlogmas videos. I'll go ahead and link it up in the card. Last but not least, Borealis from Formula X. This one was a gift to me from Joy and it's so beautiful. I think this one takes only a couple of coats to get opaque. So this one is kind of an olive metallic, it's an olive green metallic, it's not a glitter. It's more of a shimmer, I wanna say, cause I don't remember this being difficult to remove. I'm gonna say that this is a shimmer, uh, but it looks very golden toned on the nails. I love this. Um, in the, one of the pictures you're gonna see, you're gonna see the sides of the nail, they look a little bit darker, and then the center of the nails, wherever the light hits it, just kind of, 
it brightens up a little bit it looks a little bit more golden i really like the look of that on the nails i think it's beautiful it also has a teal a very fine teal shimmer that's not visible on the nails though but i didn't even care i thought this was gorgeous and i totally like because that was not the last one i have these two that i wore as pedicures i may have to swatch these because i don't think i took pictures of my pedicures but i wore what is this called teal appeal from pure eyes fantastic formula one to two coats for full opacity of this teal and it is a cream i loved it and then i also wore indie angel l woods which is kind of a raspberry um, it has a raspberry base and then it has micro holographic shimmers going on in it You see the little specks on the nails, but it's not a very like a holographic rainbowy look on the nails at all um, It just you could tell that it had something going on, but there was no Holographic effect, but I just I thought it still looked really beautiful a couple of coats for this one All right guys, that is everything for this video. Thank you for watching I hope you guys enjoyed it and I will see you guys in the next one Bye